Hi everybody, this is Yogesh Chapria once again. I'm reminded of a story I wanted to tell you and if you understand this story, it will change everything in your life. Uh, so long back there was uh, somebody called Bodhi Dharma. Bodhi Dharma was from India. He was a practitioner of Buddhism and one day he decided to spread Buddhism and he went on an adventure to China. And when he went to China, he had many experiences. He meditated in a cave for nine years. And one thing he realized, in fact, they say he's also the founder of the Shaolin temples in Kung Fu, because when he went there, he found out the monks there were very weak physically. And he said, uh, you need to be strong physically, too, because if you're strong physically, you can do the spiritual practices, your mind becomes strong. So he he was the founder of Kung Fu. Now, uh, he did a lot of amazing things, and I believe he's one of the uh, early exports from India to China, both the Indian and the Chinese civilization and great civilizations, very ancient civilizations, very rich civilizations. And then when he was in China, uh, there was a Chinese gentleman who was, you know, wanted, who wanted Bodhidharma to become his mentor. He wanted to become Bodhidharma's disciple and his name was Huiqi. And Huiqi approached Bodhidharma and he says, you know, uh, Bodhidharma, I really want to learn from you. I want to become your disciple. Uh, I want you to be my mentor and Bodhidharma refused him. He said, no, Huiki, uh, I don't want you to be my disciple. I don't believe you're worthy enough. I don't believe you're committed enough. And he kept saying no, but Huiki was very persistent. So he didn't give up. He kept trying. He kept trying. He waited in the snow. He did everything to make sure Bodhidharma accepts him as a disciple. But still, Bodhidharma said, no, Huiki, I can't accept you as my disciple. And Huiki wanted Bodhidharma to be his teacher, his master. So what he did one day, he, he went and he chopped off his left arm. So Huiki chopped off his left arm and he presented it to Bodhidharma. And he says, you know, uh, this is how serious I am. And when Bodhidharma saw it, he says, okay, you know, you've chopped off your left arm. Come on. And Huiki became his disciple. And today, so many years later, you still, we still talk about Huiki. We still talk about Bodhidharma. And Huiki is considered the second patriarch of Chan Buddhism. Uh, the first is, of course, Bodhidharma. And now many of you might be thinking, I'm not going to chop off my arm. What is Yogesh saying? Uh, I don't want you to chop off your arm. I believe some of you might be saying the story is not true. Some of you might be saying it's uh, true. It doesn't really matter. But what you can understand from this is if you are truly committed to get something, you will go all out. So if you want somebody to be your mentor, you will be completely committed to gaining knowledge from that person. You will make sure you do everything possible to let the other person know how serious you are. And that, that is what it is. It is symbolic. So the next time today, if you want something, if you want to learn from somebody, if you anything you want to do, make sure you are completely committed. Go all out. Let the other person know how committed you are. If you want a job, if you want a client, anything you want, Think of Huiki. Huiki went to the extreme of cutting off his own left arm. I don't want you to do that. People will come and say, Yogesh told me to cut off my left arm. I don't want you to do that. Uh, I want you to go, whatever you're doing, go in with complete dedication, go in with complete passion and make the other person feel how committed you are. Because only if you're committed, you will move ahead and succeed. Have a beautiful day or evening and I'm going to see you soon. Take care.